right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever time zone you're in. It's your boy Damien Wolf. Welcome to my channel. I'm known as Wolf Stan on Facebook, um, Stray Games actually on YouTube, and Damien Wolf Howls on Twitch. So today we'll be talking about another uh, focus strategy that uh, I've been using for Diamond and Champion. So if you haven't watched um, my two other uh, focus strategy videos, I'll put a link on it on the description. So today we will be talking about life focus. Right, life focus. And uh, we will be using uh, a technique or a strategy which I call resustain. <laughs> yeah, it is a play on words for the word resurrect and sustain. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's take a look at why it's called resustain. I think it's, uh, I think it's very, very uh, interesting to note that among the uh, the splinters that we have for uh, for you know here in the game for Splinterlands, there is one splinter which actually almost overflows with monster with monsters with resurrect. In fact. Um, one of its uh, one of its uh, summoners itself actually has resurrect as part of the skill. So here we go. Um, let's see. And most of them are actually legendary. And these are actually level one, right? Even with just level one, we'll see that some of the monsters already have resurrect. So first off, we have the summoner itself, which is Chance is the Great, with the resurrect ability. We have Angel of Light, another another one with Resurrect. Uh, we have High Priest Darius, also has Resurrect at level one. We actually have one more monster with Resurrect, although it's not at level one. And this is the new monster, Adelaide Brightwing. And the Resurrect actually appears at level two. There you go. So yes, she has level two. Uh, she has Resurrect coming in at level two. And when you combine, uh, you know, when, when you actually have a lot of these, where most of these monsters uh, and summoner having uh, Resurrect in one team, and if they jive together, that is a very hard force to beat. I mean, we just, uh, one of my uh, focus strategies was the Immortal Kraken for water focus, and one of the monsters I used there is River Helendale, and even with just one Resurrect, you know, well, so, you know, sometimes the the battle really turns around, uh, turns around for you, for if you're using it. All right, so let's get right to it. Let's uh, first look at the cards that we're going to be using, and I think I've mentioned most of them already. So of course, obviously, we will need Chances. Uh, Chances is well, let's look at summoners here. Chances is the one summoner um, out of uh, you know for life. Which has the resurrect, uh, the resurrect uh, um, ability, okay? But to be honest, to be honest, guys, you don't actually have to use him, all right? I mean, if you have at least one resurrect out of the monsters that you have there, then rest sustain can actually work. But of course, having him um, is is very you know having him it actually helps you out in the long run. Not just because of the Resurrect, but because of these other abilities, which is super great, which is uh, Repair and Triage. So for those who don't know, Repair actually, of course, repairs any armor, um, any front friendly armor, who's, uh, any friendly monster whose armor has taken damage. Okay. Um, and then Triage will heal uh, the backup monster that has taken the most damage each turn. Okay. So... Not the front monster, all right, but uh, the the uh, the backup monster, a backline monster. So it cannot be on the front line, right? But all you know, all the other positions are good, like two, like position two, position three, four, and five. Okay, no, sorry, two, three, four, five. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for the summoners. Again, other useful summoners are Lorna Shine. Actually, all the life summoners are cool. All right. I guess uh, the one I, I don't usually use for Resustain is General Sloan, um, but you can also use him in a pinch as well. All right, we're done with the summoners. Let's move on to the monsters. Now, 
I did say that the resurrect monsters are very important here, but there's actually two very important uh, monsters I feel which are as important as the resurrect monsters, and that is. Let's look at the monster list here. Shield bearer. Okay, shield bearer is super important. Um, a maxed out shield bearer will have taunt, shield, and return fire. Now, shield bearer does have taunt at level one, so this, uh, you know, this actually this strategy can still be used at the lower leagues. Probably not as going to be as effective as uh, as using it in Diamond Champion because we already have all the skill set, right? So having all of the skills, especially shield, all right, makes makes our shield bearer kind of like our immortal kraken on that last on our other video all right he very very hard to kill and especially if you get a monster very hard to kill and you're healing him and you're resurrecting him that leads to a very very frustrating time for your opponent but anyway shield bearer is a very very important uh card for this uh technique for this strategy the next card this this uh very <laughs> This is actually very surprising for a lot of people, but trust me, this is very important. This is Truth Speaker. Truth Speaker, a maxed out Truth Speaker, has these three abilities Protect, Cleanse, and Tank Heal. She is super duper supportive. <laughs> so if we have both Shield Bearer and, uh, you know, Truth Speaker in play, it is gonna be really hard to kill a Shield Bearer. First of all, Shield Bearer has Taunt, so Truth Speaker is enjoying herself um, behind that, uh, you know, that uh, that knight, and you know, supplying her, supplying him with heal, cleansing him if he's poisoned or whatever, or demotivated or whatever, and supplying an extra uh, two points of shield. To a monster who already has you know a, a ton of shield right so those two monsters shield bearer and truth speaker very very important um to this uh, to this strategy right however guys as, 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 I will, as i will explain later um you don't have to use these uh monsters all the time okay but as as much as you can if you want to uh use rest sustain and if you can use them please do I will show you examples of that later. All right, with Truth Speaker and um, uh, Shield Bearer out of the way, let's go to our DPS. All right, the damage dealers we have for life normally. Okay, the default, the default team will actually have Silver Shield Assassin, who at level uh, level eight. Has three abilities: double strike, sneak, and poison. It's got three attack, four speed, two shield, and six health. Even a level one, even a level one shield, silver shield assassin is already annoying, even though it's very weak. But he does have sneak and double strike, so very annoying already. And then if you add up, if he's at at max level, um, you get hit with six damage per turn. Assuming he doesn't have any buffs or debuffs or whatever and but the poison Also plays a big deal as well, and you'll see some examples of that later. So cool silver shield assassin is out of the way The DPS uh, the other damage dealer normally that uh, is employed in rest sustain is a guy named well a feline named feral spirit Feral spirit has four power six speed five health and also is a sneak monster. So if, uh, you know, if sh uh, Silver Shield Assassin and Fury of Spirit, if they're both in play, um, it's gonna be really tough for any backline monster to actually survive, assuming the enemy doesn't have taunt. And we'll, sh we'll look at those examples again later, right? But again, guys, again with this strategy, um, Feral Spirit or Silver Shield Assassin, they don't have to be there depending on the rule set. Okay? It's just uh, for a default, for the default team, it's Silver Shield Assassin and Feral Spirit. They're actually 
uh, part of the default theme for Resustain. And I'll show you, again guys, I'll show you examples of that later. Otherwise, you can actually use some more, um, you know, some more other sneak monsters, right? Like for example, if you go to our uh, neutral monsters, there's Sandworm, a max level Sandworm. And also, there should be... Okay, because I'm looking at it here. We can actually go here, and there's Elven Cutthroat. So Elven Cutthroat definitely helps. At max level, she only has Sneak for all the levels, but that's a 3 power, 6 speed, 5 health. Of course, you can go Sandworm, as I showed earlier. I can, you know, let's look at Sandworm. Why am I... Let's go gold. Yeah. So the sandworm at max level has <laughs> seven power, one of the highest atta uh, default attacks in the game. Four speed and seven health. He's got the sneak, he's got snare, and he's got piercing. Massive damage if you get hit by sandworm. Again, more examples of that later. Now you don't have to go sneak as well, right? You can actually go opportunity. Or you can just attack directly. Um, I'll show you a lot of examples where Rest Sustain can have different modes of attack. But for the default team, it's normally going to be Sneak and Backdoor, right? So the combination of having a Taunt Monster in front, um, he's, uh, a support at the back sustaining him, and then um, all the while you have a monster dealing damage to the opposing team, is already strong enough but if you add another component to the mix which is why this technique is called rest sustain we will be adding some resurrect monsters right and the first one is angel of light angel of light at max level has resurrect flying tank heal and inspire so I told you guys that the, the default team actually has silver shield assassin and feral spirit and they benefit a lot from Inspire. This adds one melee attack. Even Shield Bearer can get one me uh, another melee attack up in front, you know. And he's not, you know, he's not uh, he's not harmless either. He can deal damage as well, right? Um, she's she's got flying, so she's uh, she's got some a little bit of dodge, and of course can dodge Earthquake as well. And she heals the tank too. So with Shield Bearer already healing our tank. And we have, uh, you know, we have uh, Angel of Light healing the tank as well. It's going to be really harder to kill that tank. And <laughs> she will resurrect it too. Alright. Of course, the downside is she only has one speed. She does have eight health, but no attacks. Alright, so Angel of Light is one of the monsters. Next up, we have Darius. Where's Darius? Darius. High Priest Darius. High speed uh, Darius, high priest, high speed. High priest Darius has four power, two speed, six health, and at max level he's got resurrect, he's got weaken, and he's got blast. <laughs> so, blast fans, you know, you'll be happy that uh, this priest, you know, does not slouch. He will attack and he will damage. Although his primary, uh, you know, his primary purpose is for the resurrect, he he's gonna knock out a few a few monsters along the way as well right and again i'll show some examples of that later what other resurrect monsters we can put there is another one and her name is adelaide adelaide brightwing uh one of the legendaries from uh from uh, chaos legion ah oh, man look at this uh, <laughs> the the abilities are almost uh, has already <laughs> has already uh, completed you know the, the, the card here it's almost not fitting here but she's got flying she's got repair she's got the resurrect ability we're looking for she's got immunity she's got swiftness immunity means that you know she will not get hit by negative status effects and of course she adds an additional one speed to all of our monsters plus she actually hits she's got two uh, two power, although uh, one speed and five health, but she's got two, two, uh, two power, which is pretty cool, right? So normally the order of business is, if you can add uh, 
uh, well, I'll show all of that later. Again, make sure for rest sustain, for it to be rest sustain, you should have at least one resurrect monster, and that you know that would uh, would definitely help out um, to continue this kind of strategy. Okay, rule sets. What rule sets would rest sustain uh, be good at? Actually, there's a lot. But the number one rule set, I guess, that, you know, um, the, the uh, one rule set, I guess, one rule set that Rest Stain uh, sort of excels at is if the, co if the, if the opponent actually has uh, Taunt and Sneak. Um, well, if the rule set is Taunt and Sneak, right? Like with Immortal Kraken, uh, not, not Taunt and Sneak, sorry, Sneak and Opportunity. That's what I meant. Sneak and Equal Opportunity. So again, remember with the with the other video I, I I showed you guys, which is Immortal Kraken, because of uh, Kraken's taunt, uh, people are forced to attack, right? And in a way, with Resustain, it's the same thing with Shieldbearer because he's also got taunt, right? And he's also get supported. But then the resurrect ability, the resurrect uh, the resurrect skill provided by by at least two or three monsters. Um, you know, it, it makes it, it makes it, I guess sometimes it makes it really harder to kill Shield Bearer. Now, the, especially if it's no magic. <laughs> if there's no magic, um, this, this, uh, this strategy will, will really excel, right? For no magic, even weak magic, e even weak magic can, can do, right? So, again, uh, well, as mentioned, you know, this kind of, uh, this kind of strategy kind of dies on magic, but not all, not uh, all iterations of this deck. I will show you examples of that later. Well, speaking of examples, let's move on to that. So first I'll show you the default team as mentioned. All right, so here we are, and this is a life mirror. We are actually uh, going up against life, but our opponent is using Lorna Shine. So this is the default team that I told you about. So we have Shield Bearer up in front, Angel of Flight here in second position. Normally that's where, where she is. We get Fearless Spirit. Uh, Silver Shield Assassin is normally at the back, but you can interchange the two. I normally put Silver Shield Assassin in the back. So just in case it boils down if they've managed to, f to cut through the front lines, our main damage dealer um, is still far off at the back, right? Darius is here at the uh, fifth position. And uh, of course, completing the deck is Truth Speaker as mentioned. So, the backline monster, especially Angel of Light and Truth Speaker, will be enjoying a bit of peace here because um, because with, with Taunt, right? Everybody needs to be attacking Shield Bearer. Now, there is one more. There is one more monster which we're you know we're, we kind of have to be wary of, and that is any monster with Scatter Shot, because Scatter Shot will not. Uh, will not be affected by taunt and they will attack anyone they damn please right so be careful um, you know if our opponent uses splinters check their past uh, um, battles and see if they use scatter shot right all right so let's get things started let's see what happens here once we start it let's look at the rule set so if this is a 46 mana cap um, this is aim true so every every melee and range attack always hits and there's no neutrals so that's good we don't have any neutrals on our team anyway so our opponent by the way is kind of using almost the same thing we, he does have shield bearer and silver shield assassin and stitch leech it's actually a sneak monster i forgot to mention earlier but he went range with he went range with his remaining monsters and that's very fine with us because shield bearer has return fire Aside from the pack he already has shield, he has return fire. So this will help us deal with these backline monsters. Let's watch the match. All right, buffs are uh, buffs are done. Here we go. We are also forced to attack the front monster. So here we are whittling away against his shield bearer. Right? Darius is very useful here because as mentioned, shield bearer has a weakness for magic. There's the first heal, there's the second heal, there's the repair from Chancius. He's now poisoned. Uh, we've got through the first shield better, and because of that, we are now attacking the backline monsters. That's the first death, and that's the first resurrect. And now he has to deal with uh, <laughs> with 10 shield once again. And the uh, shield better gets healed once again, 
and they have to go all the way again to defeat shield bearer they can't hurt our back line because they have to kill shield bearer up in front and there we go all right so one cool thing um for you guys to to notice in that battle is that um she has truth speaker actually has cleanse right so if our front line gets poisoned uh, or demotivated or whatever she gets to cleanse it out of the way and heal him okay all right let's look at the second example for this example we are up against blast all right I think this is a blast uh, let's look at well let's look at the let's look at the rule sets here all right so this is up against blast so as you can see guys as I told you we can actually interchange some of the monsters here depending on what you need if we still have resurrect although this is just one resurrect from uh, from chances himself but what we did was we put shield bearer and we put Cornelius here at the second position because Cornelius actually has heal and if uh, the opponent used magic or range and then the blast damage trickles down to Cornelius I'd like to have some return fire all right we still have silver shield assassin and of course we still have truth speaker here providing support um, just to add up to the mana cap uh, silver shield bard and soul fiend is here because Cornelius actually has 10 uh, 10 mana so you know he eats up a lot of the uh, sorry the mana for the mana cap all right let's continue so our opponent is using Earth this time, using Prince Renin. He has Flesh Golem in front. Um, uh, he's got a Pesky Queen Mycelia, which is very hard because it will provide shield to all of his monsters. And will actually take out the shield, which is provided by Truth Speaker. Um, but he, has, he went range, mostly range, for his damage. And of course, that's, ver that's very much lovely for Shield Bearer and Cornelius. Because we'll be returning fire uh, for those, you know, for those attacks. Well, let's see what happens. We only have one resurrect here from Chancius, so I, you know, we, we gotta hope that uh, that is used uh, effectively. There's the first uh, return fire volley. There's the second. Another return fire here. For uh, the problem is he's got he's got four shield, two coming from Queen Mycelia, and two coming from Spirit of the Forest. So, it, it, it is a challenge to get through that shield, but we're mostly through it. So here comes the second volley for the range attackers. And I think we've managed to whittle the damage down a little bit. Here comes the first Resurrect. And there you go, Silver Shield Assassin dealing the first casualties um, in his back line. And he's been he's losing a few people here. We just lost Cornelius, but that's okay. We are kind of ahead in terms of the casualties here. Silver Shield Assassin <laughs> now hitting like a truck here at the back line, and now we only have uh, Flesh Golem standing. Okay, we lost just lost Shield Bearer here, but then uh, Silver Shield Assassin is still attacking twice. He's already poisoned the Flesh Golem, so that actually already helps with the damage. And we win that. Quite a hard battle, but uh, we were able to get through it. So as mentioned, guys, we can interchange the monsters depending on the rule sets. Although we do have a default team, uh, we can change it up, switch it up. So here's an example, guys. And I showed you guys earlier that um, for, this, for the monsters, for the sneak monsters, we can, you know, we, we can add some more damaging monsters depending on the mana cap and depending on the rule set as well. So with this one, it's mostly the default team. I've used mostly the default team, except I changed Fear of Spirit and instead put in Sandworm. Right. And let's look at the rule set. This is probably a high mana cap battle, which is why... Here you go. It is 99 mana cap. And uh, target practice, all range and magic attacks have the snipe ability. Uh, that will not work on us because we have uh, shield bearer and they are forced to attack shield bearer. Okay, so our opponent is using uh, dragon earth, and uh, this is actually uh, Fat Jimmy, a very uh, popular player. 
so shout out to you Fat Jamie if you're watching this. In any case, he's, he's using Grum, uh, sorry not Grum, Grund on the front line. He's using Carnage Titan second position, so that's super duper uh, quad attack here. Alright, and he's got a back line. He's got another pesky Queen Mycelia, which once again will eat our shield and whatever. But he doesn't have any monster with taunt here. So our two monsters will go to town starting with Kron and then hopefully move it back down. Right? How many resurrects? We have three resurrects here, so we have the full team. And let's get this show started. Still gonna be a challenge dealing with Kitty. Of course, Kitty heals the front line. Um But there's a go. Return fire. He's gonna have a challenge killing uh, shield better here. He does have Kron, you know, which attacks a lot, a massive amount of damage, deals the massive amount of damage. But with our shield better getting healed back up almost to full life, okay, it's okay if he's stunned. Doesn't matter as long as he soaks up the damage, and you know he's no slouch in damage as well. He's got five attack. Here comes the first Resu, and now he has to deal with another Shield Bear, which has 8 uh, Shield. Meanwhile, our backline is just eaten away at two of his monsters, especially the Queen, that pesky Queen Mycelia. Return Fire will kill that other monster. And uh, here goes uh, Grund doing his best to deal some damage. Okay, Almo Cambio standing uh, tall here. Pretty hard to hit with 8 speed. But uh, we will hit him, no matter what. We will still hit him. Carnage Titan is the next target from our backline monsters. Meanwhile, Grand is still trying to get through the Shield Bearer, now at full life. And uh, these two monsters trying to kill Shield Bearer while trying to stay alive, which of course doesn't happen. And we win. Alright. Now, for the next example... Uh... As I did say again, we can interchange the monsters, right? Uh, but we also have to be wary about what kind of um, you know team we will be facing, right? So for this example, uh, one actually very useful card that I use for this kind of team is Lone Boatman. Lone Boatman has Resurrect and uh, sorry, not Resurrect, sorry, Repair and Shatter, right? Chance just already has Repair. And if you add Lone Boatman, so he'll be repairing twice. The uh, the armor will be repairing twice. And he also shatters any shield. Now, I came to this uh, deck expecting that he would actually... Uh, I came to this battle expecting he would use life. Because Shield Bearer has six shield, right? I thought he was going to use life. And I was going to use to, I was gonna use Lone Boatman to cut through that shield so that our... Um, our monsters, you know, can deal direct damage to his own shield bearer. But he didn't go uh, life, he went with death. But it's still the same concept. Um, he put in Tower Griffin, so all of his monsters will have shield. The, uh, the strategy here is to take out the shield um, just enough so that our sneak monsters can get through and deal their damage. Um, one interesting uh, thing here is that our opponent used Mimosa. And Mimosa has Affliction and Void. Well, Affliction is the is what I was talking about here. So that means supposedly there's no heals, okay? But that's where Truth Speaker shines because at least she can cleanse it out of uh, Shield Bearer, so Shield Bearer can still be healed. Also, one thing to note is that if you resurrect a monster, of course that monster will have uh, no Affliction and no debuffs. All right, again, strange monsters trying to get through the shield bearer. Meanwhile, there you go. As you can see, Lone Boatman is taking out the shield from the monsters, which will be allowing our uh, backline to deal the damage. The double repair is, is really being a challenge to him. His range monsters and melee monsters are trying to get the shield uh, for shield bearer, but it's being repaired twice by chances and uh, also, yeah, once by Transcend and once by Lone Boatman. So he's having a hard time to get through. Meanwhile, our, uh, our, you know, our sneak attack monster is trying our best to kill off the monsters that are on the back line. There we go. We're almost done. Um, that Dr. Blight, of course, we'll, we won't be able to target it unless we finish off with these two monsters. 
but it's only a matter of time now we've already clean, uh, cleaned up most I think we haven't even used a resurrect here so yeah let's do that let's continue and uh, kill off these remaining monsters we have and here we go we got Dr. Blight left sorry Dr. Blight it's not gonna be your season right now cuz I got you all right that's the win all right you have to be smart when you look at when you even when you use this deck you have to interchange a few things if you can and as uh, as mentioned um, you know we can interchange some pieces of this deck depending on the rule set and this is one example uh, the rule set is actually reverse speed right now because it's reverse speed we cannot use feral spirit and silver shield assassin because they're fairly fast so what I do is I put cave slug instead cave slug has opportunity he's also got um, uh, two speed so he's fairly slow Angel of Flight is already slow. Actually, most of the components are very slow. This is not a fast. Uh, it's not a fast deck. Um, Truth Speaker, Angel of Flight, and Shield Bearer, they're all fairly slow. And uh, I didn't have enough mana to put in Darius, so instead I put in Adelaide. So uh, here you'll see Adelaide uh, Brightway in action. And I just had enough mana to put in Lens Master, so I just put him in. Uh, also thinking that maybe I can shatter some shields, like for example. Um, our opponent has used fire with Yodin and he's got Grum here in front. I was hoping that Lens Master might be able to smash some shields out of that. Alright, well, let's see what happens in this kind of rule set. We're dealing with Yodin, so we know it's going to be Blast. Our Angel of Light is going to get a lot of the damage here. Truth Speaker, of course, providing some shield, but that's not going to be enough. Let's see how this goes. Alright. Grun, Grum is attacking off the bat. As as mentioned, Shield um, Angel of Light getting all the the backup damage here. Meanwhile, our Cave Slug is now you know dealing some damage of his own. Okay, that kills our Angel of Light, and the Resurrect actually helps in a lot of ways. Uh, that's the first Resurrect coming from Adelaide, and instead of Shield Bear, it actually resurrects Angel of Light. Here's the second Resurrect. That's going to be coming from Chances, right? But that's not going to be enough. We're going to be uh, dealing. <laughs> Angel of Light will be knocked out. But we still have Adelaide Brightwing, you know, for uh, to deal damage. Well, well th she deals damage. Okay, this time Cave Slug is getting the brunt of the blast damage here. But again, he is dealing some damage of his own. Despite getting some damage here, we are actually killing off some of his uh, backline monsters already. And what's cool about Chances is, again, he has triage, right? So if our opponent gets hit with reflect damage or, or anything, um, like blast and whatever, Chances can get to heal him. And there you go. Our cave sub could have died already, but because of Chances, he's, uh, he's being healed up. That's, th that's the cool thing about the stack is that all of the components are helping each other. Truth Speaker, Shield Bearer, and uh, Chances uh, actually do work as a team here and help sustain while we have a damage dealer. Of course, dealing the damage. So we're up against uh, Ant Miners now, finishing off with, uh, with another Doctor Blight. But most of our team is intact. We only have Angel of Light as the lone casualty here, so we just deal with this one last Doctor Blight, who's already built up a bit of life, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to kill him, but you know, we'll get to it. There we go. Alright, so there are many iterations of the deck, as mentioned, and um, what if our opponent actually us uses life again, and if you see that our opponent uses, uh, if he uses Rest Sustain himself, then it's going to be hard to deal with, right? But we know that Rest Sustain kind of dies with magic, so let's combine, uh, let's combine the components we have with magic. And here is an example of that. So, for this example, our opponent um, uses life. So I saw that he uses Rest Sustain himself. So what I went with is I went with a mostly magic, uh, mostly magic deck, with of course the rest of the components here from Adelaide and Darius. Our opponent probably read 
um, you know, our last five battles, and also saw that we're using Resistain. So he also used, um, he also used magic to get through. The one difference we had, which is again important in my end, is that we already have enough damage dealers. So I made sure we still have support with Truth Speaker, right? He did not have Truth Speaker and went with uh, another damager, which is Silver Shield Assassin. So that's where the difference is in our, um, you know, in our lineup. So we're both using mostly damage, but he went with a melee attacker uh, on the on the back end instead of having a support crew. Meanwhile, I put in Truth Speaker, so we have an additional healer, uh, cleanse, and additional protect. Let's see what happens here. Who's got the better lineup? Okay. Bobs replied. He also has uh, two Resurrects with Chances and Adelaide. I have three with Darius, Adelaide, and Chance. So here's his first Resurrect. Alright. <laughs> okay, his two Resurrects are already done. I've knocked it out. I think he's gonna make us use one of our Resurrects there. So back up. Shield Bearer is now gone. That's our second Resurrect. We actually have one more. We have one more to stop it, and that actually stops Silver Shield Assassin. But we'll die to magic, that's okay. But there you go, that's our third Resurrect. Ah, okay. <laughs> but I think we've managed to deal up with, uh, with enough of his monsters and the turns as well. And I think we just had... Um, we just had better sustain because of Truth Speaker. <laughs> Chance is even refusing to let her die here. And there we go. Done. Alright. Now for my last example. I did say the components can be, you know, can be, uh, we, you know, we can, we can change the pieces here and there. This is another example of that. <laughs> And it almost looks like, almost uh, doesn't look any any way as our um, as our default team, right? It's as far to the default team as we have as as you know as possible. Uh, there are two components that I did add here, which is Darius. Darius is still here, and another truth speaker. Um, what happened here, guys, is that I read our opponent, which is Elza, by the way, a very strong player. Um, I read that um, he was in a water focus and mostly using magic. Okay, and as expected, he did go with magic. So I have a bit of a funky lineup here. I actually have Chain Spinner here in front. Since I expected he'll be using magic, Chain Spinner has 10 shield. And that's void shield. Okay, that's 10 void shield. And uh, Truth Speaker um, will add um, another uh, set of mag uh, protect to his shield. And I put in Chain Golem here at the back, expecting that he might go back door, because I know he was using water, so he might go back door. But he didn't go back door, <laughs> so that Chain Golem is going to be sitting pretty a little bit there. Um, but he does have... what is... I think we have Sneak. Yeah, we have Sneak, that's why. That's why I also put him back there. So, um, you know, he can attack even from that position. Right? And he's got shield, he's got void, so I uh, put him there as a last line of defense. For other support monsters, I put an evangelist, okay, to take out to take out the opponent's shield and also to have inspire. And then I put in magi of chaos just to add more magic damage. And I thought I was kind of expecting he was going to use something like an almo combo or whatever. So I thought that I could use uh, the ability oppress. To get through that and of course we have Darius so we have two resurrects for us this is still resustain even though we don't have shield bearer and and uh, and the other uh, monsters let's see what happens here our opponent will have to cut through that 10 shield of chain spinner and it's a, well, actually 12 shield um, he does have the firepower though he does have the firepower but he'll have um, he'll waste a little bit of time trying to to cut through that Right? And, and here we go. That's the first Resurrect. And it, our 10 shield is back up again. Being repaired by Chances. Meantime, we are killing off his monsters. 
And he again has to cut through that Void Shield. Okay, he does so, but there's the Resurrect. That's another 10 Void Shield he has to deal with. And we will be knocking off some of his monsters, uh, you know, while he's trying to do that. And that's where the beauty of Resustain is. We win the Battle of Attrition. And uh, there you have it, folks. That is Resustain, a life-focused strategy that I use for Diamond Champion. You can actually use this in the lower leagues. Uh, you know, you just have to be a little bit creative on the other monsters that you can put in for damage. But Shield Bearer has Taunt, I think, at level 1. Um, and I think uh, Truth Speaker has Protect, at least. So that should help. And Chances, is, you know, of course, you can use at level 1 as well. And some of the monsters already have Resurrect at level 1, like Angel of Light uh, and Darius. So there you go. It can still be used in the lower leagues, okay? But it's most effective being used on Diamond Champion because you already have all the skills. Okay. Now, guys, if you like this content, please, please do like and subscribe. Like the, uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Um, it will inspire me, of course, to create more videos for you, more strategy videos for those who'd like to, uh, to move up on the ranks. This is your boy, Damien Wolf. Thank you again for watching this, and I'll see you in the battlefield. Right. Bye-bye, guys.